So uh, let's see. SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, YouTube, iHeartRadio. Wherever the fuck you get your podcast, we are there. Three Ninjas uh, three, three Ninjas Podcast at gmail.com. For any comments, questions, or concerns, if you want your question answered in the Ask a Ninja segment, you can reach us there. That's Three Ninjas Podcast at gmail.com or at Three Ninjas Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. You can DM us there. So, the Incredible Soak. <laughs> what we got, man? Fucking hate you, y'all. <laughs> Can't stand this nigga. Hulk! <laughs> <Soul>. Sad! <laughs> <sighs> no Anywho. One, no one understands Hulk. <laughs> Hulk just want love. <laughs> Uh, um, anyway <laughs> what's up ninjas my question for the pod is which comedian had the most no filter stand up of all time <clears throat> Eddie Griffin <laughs> Griffin sorry um, Earthquake uh, Corey Holcomb or Bernie uh, Bernie Mac uh, this comes from CJ Nerdy Boy yeah CXJ Nerdy Boy so um, <laughs> out of Eddie Griffin Earthquake Corey Holcomb and Bernie Mac um, I haven't seen a lot of earthquake stand ups, so earthquake I, funny as shit. I, he is funny as shit. I remember him from like the the, uh, the comic view days, but I haven't yeah. really kept up with him as far as like specials and yeah. stand ups and shit. So yeah. for me, I can rule that one out. Yeah. Um, Corey Holcomb, Eddie Griffin, and Bernie Mac. Mm. From, from what I know about Corey Holcomb, he do say some. Yeah, he got to be. The, I was gonna say he the one. He say yeah, some he, off, some wild shit. He be saying yeah, like, he don't give a fuck about nothing. And then, <laughs> but it's come to a point where he's been blackballed so much because of his outrageous comments that that stopped him from getting actual like roles in like TV, TV and, sure, yeah. and movies and shit. Like the only thing I seen him on was like wilding out in Comic Black View. Jesus. He was in Black Jesus. He, I think he was, yeah. Yeah, with like off the cut, like like wild shit that you yeah. can get away with something like that, but nothing mm-hmm. like that's going to propel his career type thing. Yeah, like he ain't doing no wild mainstream shit. Yeah, so yeah, shit like that. Like he, he he does a podcast now that you can see on YouTube and hear on like yeah. iTunes and shit. That's that's like the, the, the farthest he's his fucking <laughs> ceiling because he, cause he won't stop with the off the wall shit. Yo, they come, their they're, they're quality of the videos is trash. On what? On uh, Corey Holcomb shit? Uh, on Corey Holcomb shit? Yeah. Uh. I was like, yo, like, I mean, okay. I know it's, it's, it's just a bunch of niggas in a room with a fucking. I right, we we need somebody to record your hair as a camera. We need a camera. Yeah, this shit's in like this shit from Walmart. It's like four twenty p or some shit. Like, <laughs> God, God damn! damn. I'm you like, know it's yo, fucked up so when you try to put it on the shit and YouTube is like, nah, <laughs> <laughs> this shit can't be four twenty. That's it. That's it. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> but um, for me, who's who said the most awful, the most wild shit in a stand up that I can remember? <laughs> um, Eddie Griffin didn't say nothing too, too wild. wild like I think, yeah. I think the ones I heard of him, he was talking about his family, how his family is like retarded, or like <laughs> how they just like be doing wild and dumb shit. But out of Corey Holcomb and Bernie Mac, I might. Ha- mm, I mm. Hmm. it depends on the climate we yeah. in. If we going back in the day standards, I might have to say Bernie because he was just talking about his kids. Well, his uh, sister's kid, my sister kid, his sister <laughs> kid m- oh, no. might be in gay and you know beating up kids to the white meat and beating up people <laughs> to the white meat and then you know just all the off the wild shit he would say and the fucking retarded comments he would make. It was just like yo, I, I'm back. If it was back in the day, I might have to, <laughs> I, I might have to go with Bernie. But since Bernie's no longer with us, and I guess Corey Hogan's just black. continuously putting out comment, uh, uh, what the fuck am I trying comedy. to say? Com- uh, comedy content. and content. Yes, yeah. <laughs> he says, one of the words we're seeing. Exactly. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Nigga. C words, you know the goddamn goddamn I was talking about, <laughs> but um yeah, as far as like right now, currently I might have to go with Corey Hogan because he just don't give a fuck. He go at anybody, anytime, anywhere, any place. I, I I think the thing he's most famous for in like the past two years is going there. Just hilarious. Oh yeah. If I'm if I'm incorrect, somebody uh you know let me know. No, but right. as, as as far as I know, that's the only thing that's giving him like I guess some type of spotlight. I want to say, yeah. When when you go after somebody that's more in the spotlight than you or has a bigger limelight on than you, mm-hmm. so right now I might have to go with Corey. Yeah, just, just me. yeah, I'm gonna go with Corey too. I think. Yeah. He just, I just, he like from a little bit of stuff I've seen from him, standard wise, he just be saying fucking just anything. <laughs> wow. Off, wild, off the wall. <laughs> anything he wants. Yeah, for real, not giving a fuck. Which you know what's I, crazy? Which I appreciate. Mm. It ain't like he's lying. No, he don't. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing, though. It's not. It's not the fact that he be lying. It's just it's the fact that are we supposed to say that? Yeah, It'd be the tr- yeah. Like he, one time he said, you know, wait, are, are we gonna have to, are we gonna get in trouble for this shit? 
Probably not. Okay. Depends on. No, he just repeating what somebody said. Yeah, like right. he said. This ain't Bobby's views. <laughs> you right. Yeah, like it he, might be. You know, <laughs> wow. Bobby, Bobby laughing at some wild shit, and he be a, he really be thinking it. Yeah, that should be funny though. <laughs> like he said some shit. Like uh, his girl had an abortion. And he's like, now I gotta act like I care. He's like, oh, not the baby. <laughs> <laughs> and then he flirts. He's like, Wee! <laughs> it was kind of true because you gotta gotta act like you care. But you're really glad, like, no, nah, yeah. thank you, <laughs> You gotta tread lightly with Bobby. Let me try to tell no, niggas. No, no, no. I ain't gonna say no wild shit. Yeah. I respect hope everybody. I don't yeah. mention too. I think Patrice O'Neill was like really funny. Patrice O fucking Neil. He used to say wild shit too before his time. Yeah. For real, <laughs> yo, uh, Elephant in the Room it was one of the best. One of the best fucking specials I saw by accident. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I remember seeing that shit like maybe two months after. No, matter of fact, I saw that shit like two months after he had passed, yeah, and, yeah. and everybody was talking about it. Yeah. And I just happened to catch it somewhere. I think it was on YouTube where I saw that shit. Matter of fact, or some somewhere. Yeah. And I was I was just watching that shit like yo. This that nigga from Chappelle show? <laughs> oh yeah, he <laughs> like, like I was like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know this nigga did comedy like that. Yeah, nah, Patrice funny as fuck. Man. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think that's how I, f- I found out about Bill Burr too. Oh yeah, Bill Burr yeah. fucking funny as fuck. Too. Yeah, Bill Burr top one of my top five. I don't give yeah, a fuck yeah. nobody said. <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, you so so Bobby, you going with Corey? Yeah, yeah he said some other shit that I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he said some shit like, you know, these little laws makes it hard to discipline your woman. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, see, that's, 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 that's a Curry Holcomb that, shit. Yeah, see? <laughs> It's, 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 be Chris Breezy and people, man. Yeah, but, See, it's a, it's a line between what niggas think is funny and what niggas is just trying to be controversial. I don't know if he's trying to be funny or controversial. <laughs> no, he's and like, funny. he just knows yeah. the type of crowd that. I mean, you could put the inflection in your voice, like, "Hey, I'm joking," <laughs> but you could really be dead ass serious, like, "Nah, I'm gonna beat my bitch up." <laughs> but like these new laws, be like, "Oh, I gotta go to jail. I gotta sit. I gotta do anger management, community service, all cause took all cause I told that bitch I like my eggs sunny side up." <laughs> I said. Over easy. I said over easy. <laughs> nah, I think a lot of comedians they just say shit because they think it's funny to say. They don't necessarily always agree a hundred percent with the thing. For them, it's more about finding a comedy and something that's uncomfortable. Like, yeah, a lot that's of com- that's yeah. one thing I do hate about comedians when you try to hide around your comedy. Mm-hmm. You, hide, you try to hide behind it when you say something like, "Oh, I'm just joking." Like, eh. yeah. most, most of the funniest shit is the wild, like, yeah, the, shit. the truthful shit. Mm. But how many times are we gonna get these niggas leeway? Like, yo, that's really offensive. Like, yo, I'm a comedian. Yeah, it is. But nah, nigga, when you we, say that. That's when you. I think that's when you. You know. I mean, you got. I don't know because it, 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 it is a slippery so, slope, and I guess there's probably no right answer for that. Okay, so question: Does your occupation give you the right to say certain shit? My job, no. Well, I'm just saying, like, can you do a say certain shit just because you have a certain job title? Like, if you say something, like if I say something fucked up to one of y'all, like, oh no, I'm a comedian. Is that mm-hmm. does that give me? Yeah, the only way to say to say the fucked up shit just cause you know there's no there's because I'm a comedian there's no ill intent behind it yeah kind of about it just because of the nature of what being a comedian is I think it does give you a little free range yeah. to stretch that first amendment more than other jobs I, yeah. I think they overuse the fuck out of that where it's like they could say some fucked up shit like no 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 I'm a comedian I do this I'm like nah nigga I was offended how the fuck can you, you can't Explain your comedic shit to me if I'm offended. I didn't get the joke. I want to beat you up now. Well, that's but see, but the, <laughs> see, but the the invert the problem with that is like something is offensive to everyone. Mm. So it could be so someone person could say something that's really mundane, but to someone else, it's super offensive. And they get yeah. fucking wild upset, or to other people, you say some wild crazy shit. I'm like, oh, that's funny. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel no type of way. Mm. Like anything could be offensive to anyone. So it's like. It's hard to like qualify that. I mean, but yeah, use that shit on your crowd. Don't be using your, your random shit on me, saying saying wild, inappropriate shit, and I'm not a part of your fan base. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I think it depends, like, um, which comedy shows you're going to. Uh-huh. Because honestly, like, if if I took everything that I've been through mm-hmm. to heart, I wouldn't be this. I wouldn't be this person right now. <laughs> I'd just be a fucked up bean. Oh, nigga, your stand up would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> the best. Yeah. Nigga, if you told like four stories on the show, I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued like <laughs> yeah, a motherfucker. <laughs> if he can spin this into a joke, turn the yeah, juggernaut yeah, yeah, yeah. into fucking uh, some type of comedy. <laughs> yeah, act. I did at one point. On I think my, it was um, a juggernaut origin story. Yeah, yeah, that's just real. Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, well, <I> don't know. <laughs> it just happens, but yeah, but um, yeah, there's a lot of shit that ha- that I ha- that happened to me that I turned into a joke. I, mean, I don't, I don't really see nothing wrong with it. I, I got, I got to laugh at it. If I don't, I, I'd be like, got to, you got you to get a laugh to keep from crying. Type yeah, shit. Much. And I think that's what a lot of comedians do too with some stuff too. They like 
take something that's a little fucked up and then they try to find the funny in it and yeah. it helps them kind of get through it. About you. Yeah. Do it about yourself. Oh, you said, yeah. Uh, yeah you don't don't direct people? your shit towards. Yeah, don't, oh, be, don't yeah. be like, oh, like a, like a white comedian can say, oh, these black people. Nope. <laughs> Slow your roll. Well, no, they can. But then if I'm offended as a black person, you can't tell me I can't be offended just because you're a comedian and you didn't mean it that way. I'm offended. Fuck your joke. I'm offended. I guess, but it, it goes off way because how many fucking black people got all oh, white people jokes? It's like you can't. It's and what like, do white people do? They, they they call for certain comedians to get banned. Yeah, they I'm they good. they call the club. They you know write some shit on social media. Oh, this black person is racist and da 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 da. <laughs> or he said this joke and I was highly offended as a mom, as a fucking <laughs> as a as a feminist, as a as a, as a, as a black <laughs> woman, as a gay woman. I was offended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see I, I think i think laughter is like the most universal thing ever like that's why i kind of like doing it that's why i like doing the edit sometimes because even people that i don't i didn't think that i affected that mm. that will hit me up and be like yo you got me through my day i was going through depression some crazy shit i was like god, god damn it means that much to you like, <laughs> I mean, sometimes if, same thing if, with this podcast like yeah like, what was that dude i forgot his fucking name like when we was doing i think it was the year wrap up yeah. and mm. y'all mentioned somebody in the comments said something about the podcast like oh was, like we we like part of his like top three or yeah, some shit yeah, like yeah. that and we was like yo he, he hold us in regard of, like joe button podcast yeah. and like and joe rogan i was like sheesh i know like, <laughs> yo, right? i was like nigga I was like, I was like i was like all right uh, thank you appreciate the compliment yeah, yeah. yeah. We in G Studio. We ain't got yeah, no we just a bunch of idiots talking. <laughs> we ain't got no money. <laughs> Joe Button Podcast. He he doing this shit from like you know he 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 on Spotify. Joe Rogan yeah. on YouTube. He make like however yeah, much yeah. he make an episode. He put his shit on YouTube and all the streaming outlets. And he yeah, make yeah. money. Us how much how much we get from Patreon each month? <laughs> like thirty dollars. That'd be eight dollars. <laughs> <laughs> about three fifty. <laughs> we get about three fifty. We get enough to buy like a pack of gum. <laughs> like, some new parts. Maybe new go parts. to McDonald's, you know, put some cheese on it. Yeah, yeah. McDonald's rich. McDonald's rich. <laughs> a nip. <laughs> a couple nips. A couple nips. <laughs> couple shooters. A couple shooters. That's that's about it, man. But nah, you know. but, but you gotta have some comedy. Like I got Definitely. this joke about like how my mom used to be an alcoholic. Like my mom was so much of an alcoholic, I thought the smell of liquor was the smell of Chanel Number no. Five or something. <laughs> like, that's how now bad see, it was. But that's your life. Yeah, that's funny. Like, <laughs> that's how but bad it I'm was. But about, I gotta laugh at it. She's yeah. not like that no more. But I'm talking about yeah. And okay, so you can you can use that as like <laughs> all comedians use shit from their life. They, they use their family. They use life experiences. They they use school, jobs, relationships, whatever the fuck. But it's when you start when you're not of that and you start using that in your comedy. Like yeah. Yeah. if me. As a black man, start talking about gay stuff, or I start talking about Middle Easterns or Asians or something like that. That's not me. And somebody hears that shit and they get offended. I can't tell them not to be offended. Oh yeah, no, nah, yeah, you they can't tell them not to, not to be, be offended, offended. But at but the same I, time, I'm still doing these I jokes. Can't, I can't also tell them I was joking, and then that's just supposed to erase your feeling. Like, oh, he was joking. Never mind. I don't feel away anymore. I feel like um, if you talk about like offensive shit like that towards a uh, a range of ignorance. That's where I think it kind of gets blurry. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you got to ask questions. Yeah. See, you got to know what the fuck you're talking about before you just start making jokes about shit. Yeah. Like, I feel like I can talk about gay people because of what I no, experienced and what I talked about, talked to him about it. Because I actually <laughs> talked to him about I'm kind of intrigued at what Bobby's gay experience was. Right. <laughs> I think we talked about this before. The nigga that hit on him or some shit. Yeah, like nigga hit on me and it's like We talked about that? I yeah, think, it, I was think on, it's come it was on the domino before. effect though. It wasn't up here. Uh, it was right. it, Yeah, <laughs> okay. I was like, yo, like all right, this is the thing, this is this is the problem I got with gay people, right? <laughs> oh, shit. You can't word it like nah, that. You can't, yeah, yeah. No, it is it is a problem though, because like they make me feel like a piece of meat. Oh, like, <laughs> nah, it'll be like it'll be like, you, you know, know how women feel. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, these niggas will try to slide into my DM and then they'll be like, I'll be like, yo, like I'm not gay. He's like, all right, but uh we can still talk, right? Now when they say <laughs> shit like that, right? Like, it kind of makes me feel like a female. <laughs> Like, well, she's today. like, nah, I got, I got a man. Oh, but you got friends though. Like, now I feel like a, <laughs> now now you I feel like a female. I was See? like, yo, like you're disrespecting my sexuality. I just told you. <laughs> now you know how I want to feel. <laughs> you cannot have my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> pussy. <laughs> yo, why would you say it's okay, but when I say it, it's fucked up? Come on, man. Damn. No, uh, and then I found out like, um, some gay people they like straight men, but in a, at the same time, it's kind of an oxymoron because if they fuck you, then they're gay. <laughs> It be shit like that. It just 
And I know that because I had conversations. So you can't tell me that it doesn't happen. And I didn't say everybody. I said some. <laughs> <laughs> so it'd be shit like that. The niggas like a challenge. I see. <laughs> like, are you straight? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not, straight. not after I get done with you, nigga. <laughs> Yo, I take that as more of a compliment when like gay people compliment me. Like I, I take it as like, you know, that's just the old because gay people like they they have like extremely high standards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm some sexy gay niggas. <laughs> uh, nah, like I walk by a, a, a group of gay niggas and like two of them growled at me. I was like, <laughs> yo, I was like me. Uh. I was like, yo, I look mad Holy fucking shit, good today. The <laughs> <cat."> <laughs> These niggas growled at me. This nigga with the thundercat growl. looked at me. I was like, I beat y'all niggas up, but me? Nah, two of them niggas they gonna jump you. Nah, no, it was like five of them niggas. It was like oh, a yeah. pack of gays. Yeah, so they gonna hold you down, down nigga. <laughs> Relax, yo. <laughs> now we're venturing into rape. See, it's just not funny. See, you, oh you're joking about my butthole. Now I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> gay rape, even though it, <laughs> gay rape, even though it's funny, we directed towards me. It ain't funny no more. <laughs> oh man, uh, you right? <laughs> Because the only, only thing I can imagine is that American History X scene was like that oh, big buff oh, nigga in jail. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, now it's real. <laughs> oh, yeah. Imagine that shit. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. I take it back. I'm, I apologize. About learn to run, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> learn to run. <laughs> All right. So Corey, Corey Holcomb wins by unanimous decision. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Drop some that skittles on the floor or something, nigga. I don't know how the fuck we even got there. Nigga. Dog, I never know how we get anywhere. <laughs> yeah, we just, it just be happening, dog. Right. Like, you just gotta just go with the flow, dog. Uh, it, it, whatever. <laughs>